morning friends welcome to shekhan pre market view indian markets yesterday had a uh, very flattish kind of a session uh, however the buyers continue to remain positive indices finally managed to close in positive with sensex uh, putting on a gain of 17 points and nifty a gain of 11 points if you look at the queues from wall street they continue to remain uh, quite positive the snp hit uh, a 20 trillion dollar uh, market cap uh, and the indices is closed in positive dow was up by about 142 points uh, s&p had a gain of 12 points even nasdaq was up sharply by about 29 points as investors continue to speculate that the new tax cuts which would come in the economy will boost uh, further uh, the overall growth prospects if we look at the queues from asian markets they are trading uh, mixed uh, the data from australia especially the survey came in quite positive uh, even uh, the data in china showed that the inflation has uh, shot up quite uh, positively uh, so net net uh, the positive sentiment remains uh, if you look at uh, sgx nifty it is opening uh, 15 points up uh, so marginal positive opening for the indian indices uh, flows uh, flows continue to remain uh, positive fis uh, showed the uh, cash buying of 306 crores Uh, even in the index future they were buyers of about 754 crores uh, whereas dii's were small sellers of 171 crores now after this uh, cap up opening how nifty is likely to behave throughout the day let's have a view from our derivatives desk good morning friends welcome to derivatives morning view in positive queues from international markets help our markets to open higher but soon after the markets opened higher it started trending downwards Uh, neg- mixed queues from european markets didn't help our markets too nifty uh, went down uh, sharply and uh, in the mid session but recovered in the later session of the day and the day uh, volatile day ended at around 8815 levels just 0.0.07 higher nifty cost of carry went down from 5.04% to 4.27% put call ratio remained the same at 1.12 and india wix also remained the same at around 13.18 nifty shares 7.5 lakh shares of open interest indicating short covering in nifty futures on the option activity front 8800 call option so the minor addition of around 4% 9000 call options so minor addition of around 3% and 8900 call options so minor reduction of around 5% on the put activity front 8800 put options so strong addition of around 12% There is 8700 put options so strong addition of around 9% and 8600 put options so around minor addition of around 1.3%. Overall we have been seeing that put writing has been aggressive since last few days indicating markets to hold up the 87-8800 range on the lower side and on the higher range 9000 remains the highest in terms of open interest can be accepted as the resistance level. indicating the trend is positive only securities in the band period for today are bank of india cit limited hdil ifci jindal steel and power jp associates oriental bank of commerce arcom union bank of india wokart pharma on the fi activity front index futures were net buys by 754 crores index options were net buys by 178 crores stock futures were net sellers by 393 crores and stock options were net sellers by 265 crores On the market level front, Friday we have stands at 8800 level. Lower range remains at 8800 level, and higher range remains at 8874. SGX Nifty is indicating positive opening by around 18 points on Nifty at around 8839. That's it from the derivative desk. Have a wonderful trading day ahead. So let's have a look at the trading ideas for the day. The first one being GBK Power. Now GBK Power has uh, won the bid for Navi Mumbai Airport. Uh, this is sentimentally positive news for the company, uh, and one can long get with stop loss closer to six levels. The potential upside could be closer to seven and a half levels. Uh, our next idea is GLF. As per media reports, uh, GIC of Singapore is in uh, lead to buy 40% stake in GLF Arm for close to 12,000 crore. In case the deal goes through, this is extremely positive news for GLF. and uh, one can long dlf with stop loss closer to 144 levels the potential upside could be closer to 153 and 155 moving on to news update uh, lnt forms jv with uh, france mdba for uh, development of missile systems 
inflation cools up to 5 years low and uh, stood at 3.17% for the month of Jan. China has launched an anti-dumping probe against uh, India. Niti Aayog has prepared model law for contract farming. NBCC might buy out uh, four smaller PSUs from government. Uh, Kane India is likely to invest close to $1 billion in the next uh, in five projects to ramp up production. Solar power prices have hit uh, historic low. Uh, this is cheaper than uh, most of the fossil fuels for the first time. India INC's FDI overseas is down about 57% to $1.82 billion. Sugar companies, uh, the UP sugar mill, have uh, clear 75% of reduce this season. Concord board has recommended one bonus share for every four held by existing investors. HPCL has received a green nod for Vizag and Mumbai refinery expansion. Uh, moving on to result updates which have come in uh, post-market yesterday. Uh, m and forging, the PAT came in at 10.6 crore versus 13.1 crore. Uh, so again, uh, uh, the overall PAT was down. Tilak Nagar uh, came in with a loss of about 51.9 crore versus loss of 59.7 crore. Uh, so again, a bad set of numbers. Balmer Lorry came out with a PAT of 26 crore versus 33.4 crore. Again, down 22% YOY. Repco Home came in uh, with a decent set of numbers uh, with PAT standing at 46.4 crore versus 38.6 crore. BGR Energy, the PAT came in at 10.5 crore versus uh, loss of uh, about uh, 9 crores uh, YOY. Muthut Finance, uh, PAD came in sharply up by 55.9% at 291 crore versus 186 crore, so a good set of numbers. And finally, Nalco, the PAD came in at 144 crore versus 148 crore, down close to 3%. Uh, important results uh, today, uh, many numbers are lined up today. Aditya Billa Nuo, the estimate is 88 crore, Cox and King estimate is 16 crore, Kayatri project estimate is 13 crore, Sun Pharma estimate is closer to 2100 crore. Kalpataru Power estimate is 55 crore, uh, Greaves Cotton estimate is 48 crore, PI Industry uh, estimate is 82 crore, Phenolex Cable estimate is 63 crore, Tata Motors estimate is closer to 25, 23 crore and finally Thomas Cook estimate is a net loss of about 35 crores. <coughs> Watch list that we have created for the day, stock with positive bias we have Bharat Board, CEC, IOC and IDBI Bank. Stock with negative bias, we have Aditya Billa Nuo, Allahabad Bank and Canara Bank. Advisory picks for the day, uh, we have Phenolex Cable, Sk Skipper, LNT Finance, PTC Financial Services and IRB Infra. Thank you friends.